Hello, this is going to be one of the shortest videos in this series. I'm just going to show you how to basically set up Cupertino on your Flutter project. Cupertino is basically widgets and buttons and sliders, etc., that look like iOS buttons and widgets. But you don't have to be doing this on iOS or for iOS. You can do it on Android as well. So that's great. That's Flutter does not discriminate. If you want to use iOS style widgets, you can on Android. That's totally up to you. So to do this, the setup really, the only thing that you need to do is go up here, put import package flutter forward slash cupertino dot dot and put a semicolon. And now you can use all the cupertino stuff. Okay, for example, for example, again, this is not a particular video on any widget. I've got all of that covered in separate videos, but you could put like Cupertino and this is the like Cupertino button. So we need the child, and for the child, I'm going to put a text widget. I'm gonna say no. And then on press, that's normal. You can do that however you want, but I'm going to save that and let's see what we get. So now we have a Cupertino style button. Obviously, as you can see, it is extremely simple, but if you want to customize, some of the styling, you can change the border radius, you can change the padding, the opacity, that sort of stuff. But now it allows you to use the Cupertino stuff. There, I've got some videos of how to change this scaffold from this to a more Cupertino, Cupertino style one, so a more iOS style one. So bear in mind, you don't have to have it in an iOS style format if you want to just use the regular Cupertino widgets like the slider, the switch, the button, etc. You you'll probably you know have it enabled or you know added if you are creating an iOS app and you are using the Cupertino widgets but it is not a requirement. That's really it. If you have any questions you know for this video or any of the other videos especially the Cupertino videos in relation to this feel free to pop me a message and as usual I look forward to seeing you in the next video.